Hi, my name is Dave. Today we're going to look at a Celestron Cometron Model C062. I presume that means it has 62 millimeters of uh, aperture, although the difference between that and a 60 millimeter are small. Focal length 300 millimeters, little short, cute telescope. These were popular back in the 80s. Celestron tried to sort of rebrand itself as Cometron and painted a lot of their telescopes gray back in the 80s for the uh, for Halley's Comet uh, had a near approach. Let me demonstrate how you assemble this telescope. These legs pull up, screw in there. Let's mount it just like that. This doubles as a counterweight and a handle. This is pretty heavy. You can't probably detect that, but it's pretty darn heavy, so it acts as a counterweight also. And this goes in here. So now the little Cometron is assembled. Let's compare that with the assembly of the Tasco. This is much easier. Boom, boom, boom. That's all there is to it for the Tasco. Much simpler. Now the Tasco also has a slow motion that you can put on there. I don't think it's really necessary with these scopes. Oh, it's kind of nice. But the main thing is, this thing assembles a lot faster. I wish the Celestron had been made this way. Because uh, that's quick, quick and easy. This is a chore. Dasco uses a 965 adapter that screws right in here. This comes with the outfit. And then you have 965 eyepieces. Unfortunately, the the optics back here, the eyepieces and so forth that come with the Tasco are not very good. Um, you can, this is a standard Vixen adapter, I think it's 36.4 millimeter, whatever. It doesn't quite thread in properly, but it goes in far enough that you could probably make it work if you wanted to. Then you could use an inch and a quarter diagonal and get your Teleview Nagler and put it in there. Perfect companion for this. I'm joking. <laughs> anyway, it's a little overkill to put in an eyepiece that's worth three or four times the, the value of the telescope. But uh, what the heck, you could use better quality eyepieces, inch and a quarter eyepieces. Uh, this comes with a 25 millimeter Kellner. Not a great eyepiece, but not bad. Uh, and you can, the nice thing about this is with the inch and a quarter adapter, you can get, you can use your Naglers or whatever you want, your high quality inch and a quarter eyepieces with this little telescope. Not sure that you would want to, but you can do that. How are the optics in these telescopes? Well, that's a valid question. I'm, I'm afraid you're kind of barking up the wrong tree for asking it though, because neither of these telescopes is going to give you a superb optic. Okay, if you want to talk about optics, now we can talk about optics. This is a Takahashi FC50 fluorite apochromat on a Sky Patrol mount. The Sky Patrol mount can be reconfigured to be equatorial. It also has beautiful tracking. The fluorite optics in this Takahashi are capable of going way up there in power. You can crank this baby up. I've got it loaded with a Teleview Nagler right now. You're not going to have any problems with chromatic aberration with this scope. 
This scope, if you take it up to uh, anything above maybe 75 power, 100 power certainly, it's going to start to start to show a lot of color. Uh, it's not going to be a, a great telescope for real high power views. It's a good little telescope, nothing wrong with it. This is a beast. It's a little bit like putting a slingshot against a Sherman tank. This is going to win, even with smaller aperture, much higher quality. I hope you've enjoyed having a look at the Celestron Cometron Telescope from the mid-80s. Thank you very much for watching.